One and O oh, Robert Morris University football entering week two of the season after an impressive defensive performance and a week one victory over Dayton. The Colonials will head up the road from Pittsburgh to Youngstown State ranked sixth in FCS football. The Colonials have played the Penguins in each of the last two seasons, both losses, the first one coming in overtime. And that's how Youngstown State started their season, an overtime loss at Pitt last weekend. Our young football team understands that that was last week and, and we have to get ready for Youngstown State. Um, I'd like to be 1-0 after this week and, and, you know, just win one game a week. And they're a very talented football team, there's no question about it. There's a reason why they were runner-ups and national champions uh, last year, and that's because they got an awful lot of talent and they're well coached. Um, we're excited about going up there. Um, I, you know, I think our young football team will have an opportunity to find out, uh, number one, um, where we're at as a football team against the best in the FCS. And number two, um, I know that our football team's not going to back down. They're going to they're go on that field um, with all the confidence in the world that, that we can win that football game. They're pretty good. Um, they're big up front. Uh, they got speed on the outside. They have two really good tailbacks. Uh, the quarterback um, is a seasoned vet. You know, you saw him last year. Um, he wasn't the starter. Then towards the end of the year, they put him back in and had a lot of confidence in him, and he led him to the championship game. So, um, you know, they got a lot of, especially a lot of confidence coming off of overtime. Even though it's a loss at Pitt, um, you know, they, they should have some confidence, and um, we have to match them. We got to match their intensity um, every play. Uh, go out there. We know what they're they're going to run. And we got to stop them. The biggest thing we got to do is communicate because the stadium is going to be packed. It's going to be a lot of fans, and pretty much we're not going to be able to hear, so pretty much you got to speak loud and communicate with each other. One key for the Colonials will be another solid defensive performance. RMU's D held Dayton scoreless in the second half, allowing just 54 yards of offense in the final two quarters. That's something they've accomplished with some halftime adjustments and a handshake agreement on the sideline. Between the two sides, like Eric McAllister came up to me and said like he got our back, and that just motivated me to like keep pushing forward and keep going, get on my motor, just pick up game quick. The biggest thing about it is the guys played. They came out in the second half ready to play. They um, took it upon themselves to, hey, we're down. We gotta, we gotta make plays. And um, our message uh, to the guys at halftime was three and outs the rest of the way. That was our, that was our goal. And um, they came out and they played. They played in the second half. Another guy to keep your eye on this weekend, Cole Blake, the running back, returned after missing a season of injury, picked up 69 rushing yards in week one, and he's just 14 shy of 1,000 for his career. We'll see if he can pick that up this Saturday, a 2 o'clock kickoff at Youngstown State. Make sure you read the full game preview online at rmucolonials.com and follow RMU Football on Twitter and Instagram for the latest updates and content.